Okay, we're going to look at I can read and write decimals to the thousands place value. Okay, reading decimals is really simple. If you can read numbers, you can read decimals. You just have to add a little bit of new language. So read the number is the first step. You simply just read the number. You can read numbers, read the number. Simply from, and I'm going to add a red in here, left to right, just, so we normal, just like we normally do in the English language. So let's just do a couple examples. How would you read this number? Five. How would you read this number? 68. How would you read this number? 123. And how would you read this number? 308. Just be careful when you have the hundreds not to say 123, just 123, and then 308, not 308, but 308. So the first step to reading any decimal is you just simply just read the decimal. And you're probably thinking, well, there's no decimals here. This is step one, we're gonna add the decimals in. So the second part, after you read the number, is you read the final place value. And then a little bit of new lingo is going to be this decimal or any decimal is going to be read as the word and. All right, so let's go ahead and practice a few. We'll have A, B, and C. The first one is 63. decimal one. I'm going to just read it. It's just did, just not as a number like I should because I want us to practice. So 74 decimal 38. And my last one's going to have 100 and 101 decimal 949. Okay, let me take my steps. Read the number from left to right. I'm going to do that first. 63 my decimal is going to be and, and one. Read the final place value. Final place value for the first one, 63 and one tenths, because that's my final place value. So you read A as 63 and one tenths. Read the number, read the final place value. B, 74 and 38 hundredths. C, read the number, read the place value. C, 101 and 949 thousandths. All right, let's just go the other way real quick. So we'll do D, E, and F. So let's say I have the number written in word form and we're going to write it out in standard form. So let's say I have five, Hundred twenty thousandths two and four tenths and three and eleven hundredths. first thing I do when I look at these is to take some kind of other pencil and I would underline haha I made a mistake it should be thousands underline the last place value so this thousands should be THS and the last place value tenths is my final place value and hundredths is my final place value and your final place value is probably gonna come at the end Look for any ands, because we're going to place those ands with decimals. There's no ands here. Here's an and. This is just to help us get started and get familiar with how to set up from word form to standard form the decimals. 
520 thousandths. Now if there's no and, it's either it's a decimal, so there's only parts of the whole, or it's a whole number. So if it was 520 thousands, not ths, it would just be whole numbers. But if it, since it's thousands, I'm going to start with a decimal. 520, that's my number, and my final place value has to be thousands. 520 thousands. Check. 2 and 4 tenths. Just write the number. 2 and 4 tenths. Perfect. And my last one is 3 and 11 hundredths. 3 and 11 hundredths. My last, my last place value is the hundredths. So for reading decimals, standard form, um, word form, it's two simple steps. You read the number from left to right, 5, 68, 123, 308, and then read the final place value using the decimal as an and, 63 and 1 tenth, 74 and 38 hundredths, 101 and 949 thousandths. When you're going the other way around, remember each and is a decimal, Look at the final place value and make sure that final place value matches up with the final place value with the digit. And that's it.